The other thing that's really important about it is knowing where this little fella is, the, the off stump. And obviously the first thing that every batsman does is take guard. What is your kind of um, strategy as, as such? Generally, the reason, the, the reason we take guard is, is, is so that we know at any given time when the bowler bowls where we are um, in the crease. And the other thing that's really important about it is knowing where this little fella is, the, the off stump. So if we, if we take a guard, doesn't matter whether it's leg stump two or middle, once we've made that mark, and we either put our bat or our feet on it, we have a really good idea where that off stump is. And the reason why that's so important is that so we know that, that especially when you're opening the, uh, opening the batting, we don't want to be playing at any balls that we don't have to, unless they're scorable. So they've got slips, they've got, they've got catches everywhere. So we want to know that anything that's outside our headline here, that we can leave if, if necessary. So that is, that is why the, the, the guard is, is so important. Where you put that guard is very much down to each individual's preference. Although it would appear that the way things are going now, more and more people are sort of going across their stumps a little bit more and maybe taking middle, sometimes middle, uh, middle and off um, to, be, to be across and in line with the ball. And you said like more batsmen are going across, but is that, more, is that fair to say more in the four day game? Um, when you look at the advent of one day cricket, our batsmen going more leg side, and is that something that you'd encourage us to give that freedom yeah, of arm? Possibly. I, I think that the, the, the one thing that you don't want to, especially in, especially in white ball cricket, you, you don't want to give the bowler any clues. So there's no reason at all why, even if you're looking to target offside, why you still can't be batting across your stumps, and then you make that movement as and when you see fit as the bowler just about, is about to bowl or, or whatever. If we start here, if we start on leg stump or outside leg stump, it's, it's, it's giving a real big clue to the bowler that that's where you're looking to try and hit it. And then he might be able to sort of spear it in here a little bit more. So, so it's, it's one of those things that, um, it, again, as, as, as I said before, going back into white ball cricket, um, you don't want to give clues away too early about where you're looking to target.